Okay, so pulling up now to Pop Culture Exchange in Omaha. Just looking for deals, seeing what new stuff is out there. Um, I am here to see if they have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Danny figure, a Loot Crate exclusive. He is $50. Um, I know that sounds ridiculous, and if you know Turtles, $50 for Danny really sounds ridiculous. But he's $75 to $100 right now. So $50 to me might as well be free. So my brother and I are here, and we're uh, coming down to check this place out. And if we find him, we're going to fight to the death in the parking lot for the rights to Danny. Let's go. Kicking it off with some elites. I've been really wanting that Jim Neidhart, but I'm gonna pass today. Love these classic superstars from Jax. They did such a good job with those. The only thing they did a good job of. A little juicy Triple H figure. Love of my life, Rhea Ripley. Nothing else too interesting. <laughs> America John Cena <laughs> Ultimate Warrior for some reason. Don't really understand that. Matt Riddle over here, just looking as stoned as ever. Ah, bra. That's a Sp Spicoli custom from the Fast Times of Richmond High. This fat looking Lex Luger. <laughs> it looks so fat. He doesn't even look muscular. Oh, these are kind of cool. I, you don't see these ever. What a price, wow. It's the Brock Lesnar figure from the UFC line. Yeah, these are dope. Man, this is my heyday. Right here, Frank, Mir, Rashad Evans, and Houston Alexander, the pride of Omaha. Man, that Royce Gracie. Yeah, I mean, this was the era, though, that I was watching the UFC a lot. It's cool to see these. Oh, they got a Forrest Griffin down there. Forrest Griffin is also the fucking man. Yeah, they, got some, they do have some good stuff. Whoa! How did I not see this? Smoney Brown. It is not a WCW figure. This is a TNA figure. Wow. You will be pounce. Sorry. He did the pounce. Look it up. Some Star Wars figs. Always got to check these bad boys out. Seems like they added quite a lot of Black Series. Lucy's. But of course it's all the junk ones that nobody wants. A lot of card ones, retro ones. Boglins. Never really understood Boglins. When I was a kid I didn't get it. As an adult these retro these uh like remake ones I don't get. But among uh vintage toy collectors, they're popular man. These are hot, hot figures. But these ones are like the re ones that the readers repros. And of course, TMNT, my conquest to recollect so many, and to get other new ones. I had a Muja Man, I had, I had so many of these. Good he man, a little stink or action. This slash figure is dope. Oh, he has his belt. It's hard to find his belt with him. I just got that punk rock Don. Ace Duck. Ah man, his sticker's kind of coming off. Otherwise, I'd be down for that. Because he has his board and everything, his belt, he's all of his accessories. He's complete. I need this figure. I need it. I'll think it over, but that sticker, I don't know. Just can't have it coming off. Uh, I just got myself a complete metal head. This this one right here. So I don't need that. I got some ones with the cards. Which is useless to me, because if you're gonna buy the card, I want it carded. I don't want it just to come with the card. Ugh. Scary. Horrifying. 
that's the uh, baby turtles from the movie. Ah, pizza. That's all I got when I see this. It's just pizza. Anyways, we move on. Some sweet ass Voltron figs and Power Rangers. These are the uh, the repros they made a few years back. They're cool. I like the presentation of it. But, yeah, you know, give me the old ones. <laughs> Which they have one right here. Now, this is an original 1994 uh, Power Rangers flip head Kimberly. And that's the terrifying uh, Alpha, Alpha 5, whatever his name was. I always want to call him Alpha Alpha. And they got the whole Turtles in Time lineup that I just bought uh, the day after Black Friday. So don't need them although I don't I do still need Leatherhead and Slash and Shredder I think Tony my brother here with me is gonna buy a Shredder and a Foot Soldier oh god it's Willow get out of my life Ugh. yeah that's the look I have right now the look of disgust oh god it's Willow dog shit lies with him Some good stuff behind the glass case here. A little figure arts action. Ooh, some carded turtles. They got like three of the four music guys right here. Of oh, the little rock music ones of turtles. Those are cool. One punch, too. Damn. Yeah, a lot of good, good stuff in here. Battle trolls. Ghostbusters, the new He-Man, which sucks ass. <laughs> uh, got some box vehicles and creatures from Turtles. Oh man, these I never see. The Neko Rocky figures. This thing's like hundred dollars. Was that sixty dollars? Oh my god, just so too much money. Too much. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. It's <laughs> the best name for a cartoon ever. That's so stupid, yet I love it. God, this is terrible. Don't understand how this got approved. Look it up on Toy Galaxy on YouTube. They have a whole history of it. It's great, but it's just, yeah, perplexing. Let's see, a lot of Ghostbusters. Ooh, the Matrix figs. Boost face. George McFly. Love those peanut spawns. Those are sweet. Got the Corbin Dallas, Fifth Element. Trick or Treat, the little kid from it, Sam. Awesome movie. If you've never seen Trick or Treat, it's a banger of a, of a scary movie. You gotta watch it. Great. Gary Oldman from The Fifth Element. I did not realize they made a Larry Burns figure for The Simpsons Toys. No respect. No respect at all. R.I.P. Rodney Dangerfield. Okay, so I've seen this Megabyte figure. But I've never seen this here. Now, I'm not buying this. This is stupid. But this is from Series 2 of Reboot, which is, like, actually kind of a pain in the ass to find. So it's really cooler here. These are just the little side robot characters. I don't care about those. But I want some of the characters from this series. I've never seen the cartoon ones, or loose for that matter, up close. So I don't have them here. It's too bad. I have a lot of cool Predator stuff. But not... Reboot Series 2. It's too bad. Damn. You know, see, this is, well, this is like Wave 2, I guess, but for Season 2, I want the Season 2 reboot figures. But those are so hard to find. I think they might be like Canadian or something, and that's why. I'm not quite sure, but yeah. Man, Sky Dancers. Ladies, if you're watching, remember these? These were, these were pretty hot toys back in the day. Although, looking at it now, did not realize there were so many of them. They made the boys' version of it, like the dragon dancers or some bullshit. <laughs> I think even for me as a kid, I saw past that marketing. I'm like, that's that girl toy, but it's for boys because they're dragons? No thanks. A lot going on here. A lot of, a lot of drug influence stuff. Look at that. Tell me you weren't on drugs when you made this. Definitely. Definitely drugs. A lot of good stuff over here. Archer, all you Archer fans. 
sweet green arrow figure. Gotta respect the total justice figures in the 90s. Oh man, this Iceman figure is sweet. There's one just like it, but this one's the cool one. I got like the, the other accessories that he comes with. Yeah, this is a fucking sweet figure. Toy Biz Marvel in the 90s was just dope as hell. catching in here. Got some of the Matrix figures from the original run of the Matrix toys. The, I, I kind of like the whole like setup with them. Yeah, they're kind of going up in price now that that movie's coming out. Whoa, a Dino Rider. Yeah, a hundred bucks, I bet. These things are hard to find. Like the actual dinosaurs for Dino Rider. Damn. It's kind of cool seeing one up close. Some Joe. Polly Pocket. Always got to shout out Polly Pocket when I see it. Okay, so I'm leaving now. We did manage to secure the Alpha Male Monty Brown. I could not resist a TNA figure. Um, they're pretty hard to come by, especially in loose condition. So it was whatever. But now headed out and going down to Krypton Comics and see what we can find. Okay, we are at Krypton Comics. We're gonna go in, go out. Quick trip, wish us luck. When I was a kid, I was just like, but they're dolls, like literally just dolls. When people make fun of toys when you're a kid, they're like, oh, you're playing with toys. It's like, well, no, they're toys. These are dolls. Literally, these are dolls. No, no thanks. Ooh, it's a mask. I'm telling you, a mask is, is hard to find, but when you find it, you just gotta observe it, because it's crazy when you see it. I mean, obviously not mask like Jim Carrey, you know. Smoking, but uh, you know, this bullshit. Okay, so I have to just really quick look at this hearted Thundercats figures. Now, they are the henchmen, uh, Monkey Man, or his name is, and Vulture, uh, Vulture Man, but man, rare to see hearted Thundercats figures. Holy shit. Love superpowers. Love superpowers. Really kind of want to start getting some of these. Especially with like some loose ones or something. Because I just love the simplicity of them. Damn. I just now realized that this is right in front of me. I have not seen this out, out up close. Damn. This is fucking badass. Love the Batman in this two pack. That's cool. That is cool. I just rediscovered this uh, in my old childhood toys. Although seeing this now, I forgot there was two. They're the exact same fucking toy, but just colored differently. Except this one, uh, Superman has like a long ponytail. So that one's more comic book. This was the one from more of the cartoon show. That's the one I had. Still the best NECA box of any alien or predator I've ever seen. Oh god, every time I see the Ninja Turtles and Next Mutation, it makes me sad. I still can't believe... This was kind of what killed the Turtles for me. When I was a kid, growing up, once I got to like 5th grade, middle school, whenever this started out, I was still way into Turtles. But this was what finally did it, where I officially was like... I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Cowabunga with a K. Pretty sure they spelled it with a C. Okay. Another reason why that just sucked. Get out of my face. Oh, hell yes. Okay, so I've been kind of looking for this low-key. 
I have Charlie, who's a badass, so I have him. Cammy was my other favorite character, or one of my favorite characters from Street Fighter, and that toy is awesome. I got all the sweet neck figures. Still kind of want this pirate Bebop from the next day. I just don't know if I need it. I definitely want it. So cool. Fucking Bendems. <laughs> I don't recall seeing these last ones here, so I just had to check them out. Bendems are the worst thing ever. The 90s play for them. Nothing really new on the Star Wars front here. Always got to shout out Big Sark. Dark Lighter. Yeah, that's not cool. Except for this. This is different. Furbaka. Jesus. It's horrifying. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good Star Wars figures in terms of the old shit, but nothing that I really need. Okay, so that that is rare. That is rare. Not only is it mint, just completely mint on card, in box, but I don't ever see Dick Tracy vehicles. Ever. See the toys, and they're easy to find. These things are almost $100 each, and I get it, because you don't ever see that shit. Ever. Shout out Dick Tracy. Coming soon to figure the feature. Alright, so that was a mission success. Um, sort of. Tony got way too much turtle shit. And then I got this sweet rock and roll. Well, actually, it's heavy metal rap. So, success. I now have two of the music turtles. So, worked out for me. Let's move on. Okay, so we are headed out to a place called the Magnaporium. Something. Imaginarium. Imaginarium. Excuse me. But apparently... There's lots of good stuff here. So I have been here once, a few times before, but not in a long time. So let's go, let's get it, find some good shit.